Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Dave here. Uh, long time no see. Um, I know there's a lot been happening lately with uh, what's going on with the coronavirus, but um, hopefully, you know, everybody's staying at home, <clears throat> not going out, no partying. Um, yeah, the best thing to do is just stay home, okay? Um, so, anyway, um, this is the first video. I hope it's uh, not too, too bad. Um, I'll try to make it as light and um, you know, as good as possible. But um, anyway, I have uh, the first topic which I want to uh, record for you guys. It's about jobs and work experience, okay? So, um, oh gosh, there's so much to talk about, but uh, I've only got a few minutes. So, um, let me try and uh, break it down to you um, as quick as possible. Now, um, you can actually use uh, gerunds um, to talk about uh, jobs. For example, gerund phrases um, can be used as subjects and objects. Okay, so if you're going to use them as a subject, we need to put those gerund phrases at the beginning of the sentence. So, for example, uh, being a flight attendant is uh, a great job, okay, or sounds exciting. Um, writing a gossip column could be fun, okay, um, especially for some of the girls out there. Uh, directing a TV show would be interesting, definitely. Imagine that, directing a whole TV show. Um, that definitely would be most interesting. Um, and, you know, many others, um, like teaching um, is always exciting. Or um, a mechanic's job is very difficult, okay? Um, all right, so... Uh, Oh, sorry, I didn't use the gerund in the last example, but that's okay. Now we're going to try practicing gerund phrases as objects. So when we're going to use them as objects, we need to put the gerund phrase at the end of the sentence. Uh, so for example, um, he'd enjoy being a flight attendant. Uh, they'd love directing a TV show. Or she'd be good at writing a gossip column. Okay, so um, it's the verb plus ing, which is the gerund, plus the, uh, yeah, the um, adverbs, adjectives, and um, and nouns. So that's how you. That's how we do it. Um, so let's uh, try and use that with a few of the questions that you have in your book. Okay. The first question is, what would be your ideal job? Okay. So I've been asking this question for a while. Um, you know, and um, I I couldn't answer it until I finished high school. Um, yeah, I'm not like one of those people who you know, knew exactly what they wanted to be from the time they were born and, um, and did exactly what they wanted to do. But um, uh, yeah, for me it was a bit complicated and I'm sure it is for some of you guys. Uh, but don't fret, um, you know, it is um, something that you really need to think about consciously and properly because obviously that might be the job that you'll end up doing for a very long time. So um, at least try and enjoy it, okay? Um, my ideal job, well, it was um, business development, marketing, and sales, and that's what I've been doing for the last 20 years. So I'm very thankful I had that opportunity, and you know, finished a degree in business management. Um, but after 20 years of sales, you know, um, I, I moved into teaching um, by accident. Actually, um, I was just visiting my family in Solo, Jakarta. Um, and to, to meet you know all my family that I have never met with before, um, and uh, that was back in 2010. Um, and yeah, no, uh, yeah. After a couple of weeks, you know, Solo is a small town, so after a couple of weeks, it was like it was getting a bit boring. Um, but thankfully, somebody came up to me and um, said, "Why don't you try teaching English?" Because um, EF had just opened a, a new office in the in the city in the, in town. So. Um, I thought I had nothing to lose. I went there and I spoke to the DOS, who was also an Australian. Um, and uh, yeah, we got along really well. And he said he would train me and everything. And basically, that's where I got my foot in the door. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah. And I'm still teaching until today. So that was about 10 years ago. Uh, so yeah, my ideal job basically, look, my uh, really, my ideal job is something that will allow me to help others, you know, um, with whatever problems that they have, or to, um, 
you know, provide assistance for other people. So I thought, you know, sales did that for me, um, and now teaching is also doing the same. It's a great job, uh, every day is interesting, it's always interesting. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you know, the, the, the benefits um, far outweigh the, the actual uh, <coughs> problem. So anyways, that's question one. Um, yeah, what makes a job fun? Well, obviously, uh, depending on your definition of fun, um, I guess it, for me, it would be the flexibility, you know, the, the ability to meet um, new people and to socialize with them and to um, get new experience, um, you know. So me, maybe that means moving around from different cities, <clears throat> different towns. Um, and having quite a flexible schedule, yeah, that's what I think is a, a fun job. Uh, last question is, what is the purpose of work experience? Okay, well, uh, obviously, as the, um, the question states, work experience is just that, okay? When you have the opportunity to gain some work experience, I think you should, you should take it, you really should, because that experience really is um, it's priceless. Um, and yes, literally too, you will not get paid for doing work experience, okay, so don't expect um, any payment for that. But, um, but what you do get is, um, you know, you get to see the world in a you know, different light. Um, you get to really see how people work, you know, in their environment um, and, and do what they do best. Um, so, you know, I actually did my first work experience when I was in Year 10 in uh, Sydney, in Glebe High School. And um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to be, but I thought it would be fun to be an interior designer or an architect. So um, thankfully, I, you know, went um, was was placed in this small architecture interior design firm. It was a husband and wife company, and um, they both really looked after me for the two weeks that I was there. Um, I got to see what they do, what, what they did, and some of the the great work that they've done, um, and you know. It, well, yeah, I thought being an interior designer would be really interesting, um, you know, being able to come up with these new ideas to make all these different places look really spectacular for other people. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, I guess I should wrap that up for now. Um, how would you describe your ideal job, okay? Uh, write it down, write some practice, do some practice. Um, if you have you know, family members, you, you can speak up to, to in English, practice with them, why not? And, uh, and hopefully, we'll um, discuss this a bit more further in our next class, which probably won't be on YouTube, but it will be on Google Classroom or Zoom. Okay, guys, look after yourself, keep practicing your English, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.